So this is a pan and tilt head. You just basically put a camera on top of it, connect this thing to a tripod and you'll be able to move your camera remotely. The angles are a bit limited. On the vertical it's about plus minus 15 degrees and uh, horizontally it's uh, plus minus 90 degrees. The remote control is basically wired and uh, the actual device was designed uh, quite some time ago. If you search by US pat and patent number you'll find a, a patent um, dated uh, 1989. So we just plug the remote control to it, connect the power. The power could be either external one, it should be 6 volts, or 4 AA batteries that should give us the same 6 volts. And um, it seems uh, to run not so good on um, rechargeable batteries since the voltage is lower. Right, so we just press a button and it starts moving. That's the vertical. For the moment it doesn't go down since it's a bit broken. That's how I bought it on the eBay. And the horizontal rotation is achieved by this uh, moving lower part. And you can see a dial uh, showing a current angle where it's pointing to. And uh, this thing also has um, an automatic mode. Uh, it does only horizontal movement and you can choose uh, 30, 60 or 90 degrees and it will move uh, to and fro all the time. If we have no remote control connected uh, then it's uh, operating at the maximum speed but um, on the remote there is a speed dial uh, that is actually uh, reducing the speed. So if we plug this back then the speed will go down. And the remote control wire mm, kind of uh, lost its uh, flexibility uh, since it was produced and uh, that's the reason why um, some buttons are not working just because the wire uh, broke somewhere inside. The remote control basically um, connects uh, the middle pin of this socket with uh, that, that, that and that pin and um, it does it uh, through a resistor of around 4 um, uh, kilo ohms. So the connector itself is a quite classical one. It's 7 pin and uh, there are also 5 pin uh, similar connectors. So I will use this one to show how it works. And if we connect the middle pin with um, the other 4 pins here, with a resistor, this thing will start moving. So the pins that are closer to the middle are for tilting and the pins here are for the horizontal movement. So it goes one or another way. And the two bottom pins are for speed regulation, so if nothing is uh, connected to them then the thing goes mm, at the um, highest speed and uh, the remote control basically has a variable resistor inside so we can just measure the actual resistance 
that is giving and the lowest speed it's just zero and at the highest speed it's around uh, 20 kilo ohms I would expect the common middle uh, pin of the connector of to be connected uh, to the minus of the power of this device but it's actually a uh, plus and uh, when the power is on it's uh, directly connected um, to the power input and um, the minus is also available on this connector and uh, if we check it's one of the speed control pins and it's not this one and it's actually the left one so this is minus this is plus and so you can power some external devices from here let's see what it has inside i already removed the screws it was fixed by one two three screws on that part and one two three four five six screws here so now we can remove the leads here we have the ancient electronics and that's the motor part and down here are the batteries we won't open them uh, the motor part was a bit tricky to open it actually had four screws inside here like one two three four and then we can put it out so here's the actual mechanism and if we switch the thing to automatic mode it will start rotating it's actually not too loud but it's a regular uh, DC motor and we can also play around with voltage uh, to see when it will stop and uh, how it will run if we'll just increase the voltage a bit so we are at 6 uh, volts now and it's running smoothly if we go down to 4.8 it would be the voltage of rechargeable batteries and it's running very slow now especially if I apply some load to that thing and if we go further down it will almost stop at 4 volts but if we go up It should be more or less safe to go to somewhere maybe 7.5 or 8 volts it's running faster and makes more noise and the speed is quite dependent on the voltage voltage so if you are running on batteries then it will run slower as the batteries go weaker What's interesting here is uh, that the gear is installed at some angle and it is to uh, minimize the backlash and basically it's standing almost steady and has uh, almost no backlash on both axles. The motor is just a regular DC motor, quite big that's how it looks like and there is no any specific marking for a model or something let me also show you the operation of the uh, vertical axis and here we are moving one way and the other way so 
So what I want to achieve with the thing, I want to add revolution sensors uh, to the motors and um, an Arduino based um, controller uh, to uh, stabilize speed and to allow um, some sort of um, wireless remote control to it. If I'll succeed, I'll uh, make a video on it. And now thanks for watching. Bye-bye.